Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we'll be going over my top 10 mods I can't play without. So anytime you see me playing a modded version of RDR2, you already know these mods are 100% downloaded and installed. I could have easily made this into the top 25 mods just because there's so many great ones out there. So some of these mods were really hard to choose because there's so many mods I do enjoy using. Before we get started though, if you love RDR2 mods or modding in general, you gotta make sure to like and subscribe right now. We showcase a bunch of mods for Red Dead Redemption 2, and we have a few other games cooking up as well. I just don't want you to miss out. It would be very much appreciated by me, and it definitely helps to push out these videos to people that need mods in their life. Without further ado though, let's get started. Now these mods are in no particular order, but since combat is one of the most fun aspects of this game, that's where we're gonna start. Our first mod is called Bloodlust by Wyams, and this really enhances the blood gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. When you're shooting on these bandits, you'll see a lot more blood particles than usual and there's a bunch of different versions you can choose from for more or less blood we are using the maxed out version so you know it's getting spicy there are more blood pools around execution blood has been increased as well and there's increased bleed out bonuses on all body parts so this is definitely one of the great mods i always add not because it adds a touch of realism or anything it's just a really fun one to have it adds some variety to the combat and the gunplay just isn't the same without it so if you've never tried it yourself it is definitely worth giving it a shot i can almost guarantee you won't want to play without it either once you've actually tried it out because even the melee is more spicy now so any way you like to play it's just a lot better now our second mod pairs quite well with bloodlust and this one is called wero or western euphoria ragdoll overhaul this gives all the npcs new ragdoll physics when you shoot them so doing headshots will do specific animations if you decide to take their kneecaps out they'll stumble in a different pattern falling to the ground and then shooting them in the arm or dead center in the chest will give you some pretty cool ragdoll physics this mod aims to recreate some of the RDR1 physics that people love so much, and this is one of the more advanced ones you can find. You'll even get different reactions depending on the ammo type that you use, so you'll get a lot more variation in your everyday gunplay. And paired with Wyam's Bloodlust, you get some absolutely fun combat. Vanilla combat won't be the same ever again. And with these new physics upgrades, you'll have more in line RDR1 falling reactions, RDR1 gunshot reactions, and RDR1 rolling reactions. When NPCs are injured on the ground they react in a new way as well and they even have animations if you decide to shoot them in the stomach so sometimes they'll even grab the body part and where you shoot them npcs will even have new animations when you set them on fire and if you're more of an arrow person silent but deadly those reactions have been changed as well and it even affects the different types of arrows you can use in the game so you're sure to have some fun and probably one of the best things about this mod is that it's compatible with a lot of other things as well so if you want to have even more realistic combat you can add something called the head damage overhaul or if you're using another kind of gun mod you might be able to find a compatibility patch for this not to mention there are different versions of this mod as well so depending on what you like you can experiment and find the best version for you and while we're still in combat the third mod on the list i have to combine with something else so i've combined silent deadeye with remove all screen effects and this makes switching into deadeye a lot more smooth less deafening on the ears and in my opinion makes deadeye a lot more fun to use being able to switch on and off the slow motion while you go into deadeye makes the combat a lot smoother and a lot less jolting as well without the sound and the screen effect plus to me at least the screen effect kind of distorts the screen and just removing that effect altogether helps you see a lot of the enemies better so we have a bunch of combat mods now but it's actually no fun if you can't even use them that's why my fourth mod is called bandit hideouts the last couple fights you've been seeing have been from this mod and it basically adds bandit hideouts throughout the map with these skull icons so this mod adds over 105 different bandit camps 31 new locations where you can get ambushed by bandits that are just patrolling with their horses and this mod is fully customizable so you can deactivate any bandit hideout that you may not want to have or even control the amount of bandits that appear at each hideout this mod is constantly being updated with new bandit hideouts being added all the time and it's just one of those must-have mods 
because these bandit hideouts respawn over time as well. So you can keep coming back to your favorite ones and keep slaying these bandits. You will have infinite playtime and infinite gunfights or even infinite role playing opportunities. I can definitely recommend. So now we're done with combat. So now we'll talk about my favorite graphics mod. This mod is called Calyrium Redone Visual and Weather Overhaul. And this changes the weather system as well as the visuals for RDR2. This graphics overhaul tweaks the game to give it a more realistic approach. It tweaks the daytime brightness as well as the nighttime brightness to give it a more overall sleek look. Various tweaks have been made to the weather system that can include some higher wind speeds for some of the more harsher weathers. And there's honestly a lot to go over. Just know that this mod makes the game look better while at the same time not destroying your PC. My sixth mod on the list has to be Dog Companion. And it looks like our companion has been getting into some trouble. He was eating something. But this mod is a simple mod. It allows you to recruit any dog that you see on the streets. This dog will help you track and hunt down animals and even protect you from others trying to hurt you. You can even have your dog attack random people on the street. Eat them, boy. This mod also has a bunch of features you can tweak in the any file to really fine tune it for yourself. But I think it's fun to give Arthur some company with a furry pal anybody can love. Now moving on, our seventh mod is called Gun Trick. And this mod is another simple one. If you double tap the holster button, Arthur will start to twirl his gun. And you can change between styles. So you can do alternating flips. You can do the spin up, the figure eight toss. And then you can do a pretty cool shoulder toss where he kind of flips it up behind his back. And then if you tap the holster button, Arthur will spin it and put it back in his holster. But one gun is too easy for Arthur. He is the best cowboy in the West after all. You can dual wield spin and you can still change up your style. So you can do the alternating flips dual wielded. You can do the spin up one, of course. The figure eight toss. Oh my goodness, Arthur. And then of course the shoulder toss as well with the dual pistols. And then he has another sleek animation if you tap the holster button he'll reholster it but with an even smoother animation they have this mod in red dead redemption online so why couldn't they put it in the base game it's too smooth not to have the next mod i gotta have is called gunmetal rework and this aims to make the gun metals in game look a lot better as well as more realistic so you're gonna look like a more realistic version of metal as well as have a little bit of shine to it this definitely adds a little bit of polish to the game to further improve our weapons we have a mod called rifle holster and this adds a proper holster to our back equipped weapon and they have multiple styles you can choose from we're using the arthur beta version but if you're a fan of rdr1 they even have the classic holster john wears from from that game so definitely don't miss out on this mod now our last mod that's last but certainly not least is a mod that's actually merged with three together this is a combination of ym's doc gampachero's fancy atelier and of course eastern's epic extras we've been using a combination of these mods to fully equip our character with different clothing and basically any trapper in the game you have thousands of new accessories to choose from so with gone Pachiro's fancy atelier you can really fit up arthur in some fancy attire or you can go with eastern epics to get into some of their unique assets where it even has a backpack for you to equip a shawl and a couple of pelts with even an equipable canteen or go with Wyam's wardrobe where you can make a unique outfit you've never even seen before or better yet just mix and match from any of them you literally have unlimited options and potential for crafting your unique outfit it can be tricky to merge all of these mods together but i've made an easy to follow guide which i'll link down in the description in case you want to download these for yourself these were my top 10 favorite favorite mods for Red Dead Redemption 2 and I hope you enjoyed them. I'm curious to see if you had any different mods you had in your top 10. I would love to know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for even more RDR2 mod videos and until next time, we'll see ya.